John, you were kind of a do-it-all player at a time when the game wasn't like that as much. It's become much more specialized. What was the key to being able to be adept at so many different things? Well, I, 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 that's a good question. I don't know. I, I, you know, I was pretty athletic and played baseball and um, you know, played defensive back in high school and, and, uh, and punt returner and those types of things. So I, I guess you would say I was drafted more as an athlete than, than any particular position and ended up playing defensive back after playing quarterback at UCLA. So. The, the, this, this, there's a similarity here. You were with Dick and he was building a Super Bowl team. This team is in its second season. How, do you, how does the locker room come together and, and become a good football team? What is the process like? Well, you know, um, th th that's a, 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 another great question. But the, the, the players that uh, that played in the late 70s and early 80s when I was there, uh, you know, Ron Jaworski and Berge and uh, Harold Carmichael and Wilbert Montgomery and Frank Lamaster and just a number of great guys and, and uh, Randy Logan um, and the quality of the, of the, of the person, you know, uh, was really, uh, and that was part of Dick's, you know, philosophy is, is that, you know, I'm going to find guys with character that want to work hard and you know we may not have been the most talented team but we played well together and uh, he was really the catalyst behind all that and so uh, it was a really good bunch of guys that you know we're just striving to do you know to win games what kind of coach was he well he you know most people know that he's a very emotional intense you know a man and uh, he you know i always considered him to be a mentor of mine um, and just was, um, you know, just a hard-working coach that uh, uh, very emotional, and I, I think that had a lot to do with our success in that, you know, he was sincere uh, when he told us something, and it wasn't just, you know, um, you know uh, something that was not serious. It was, it was always for real, and, um, and you, could, you could bank on it. You could trust him as a player, and, uh, and I think that's what really brought us together was that trust and the fact that, you know, he worked as hard as any of us and uh, the quality of player that he chose to be on that team. John, what are your memories of Eagles fans and the atmosphere as the team was building into a Super Bowl team? Well, I always say I was very lucky to have played six years with the Philadelphia Eagles. The fans were absolutely the best. Um, they, they know the game and they're, they're, they, they, you know, they, they, they're there to watch a really good football game and they're going to let you know when they don't like uh, the play call or a bad performance. Um, and so I love playing in Philly. The fans are the, the best. And, um, and uh, I have great memories. And, um, you know, for four of the six years I was there, we were in the playoffs. I think we were the winningest team in football from 79 to 81. Uh, those three years, and um, and it was it was just spectacular. Fans were the best. Thanks, John. Thank you.